String operators are a bit more interesting in Perl. There are actually two uh, interesting ones. One of them is the dot, which is the concatenation operator. So assuming you have two strings, let's say two variables, $x and $y, with two strings, you can use the dot to concatenate uh, strings. So you can say $x dot and then a string, which is, let's say, the space inside, and another dot and then another variable, $y. And this expression will take the content of $x, then attach to it a space and attach to it uh, the content of $y having hello space world in $z. Now, in this case, you probably wouldn't write this way because the interpolation that we saw in the earlier allows us to write this. In double quotes, I have $x space $y. And this is much nicer and cleaner than writing all this code. So, in many cases, the concatenation is not really necessary. But there are cases where the concatenation makes a difference. For example, take a look at this code. So here we have a string, and then we concatenate the result of a computation, or the result of an expression. If I do this with the concatenation, then I get take, space, and five, like this here. Right? On the other hand, if I put the whole thing into double quotes, like this, double quote, take, space, and the expression here, then I will get just that, this string, because inside the double quote, Perl doesn't execute the expression. So there is value in this uh, concatenation. The most places where I use it is probably when I'm collecting some kind of data. So let's say you have a long-running script and you want to accumulate some data in a variable uh, before printing it, let's say, because you don't want to print constantly. Or maybe you are going to send an email, so you can't just print out uh, every couple of lines. You have to collect all the information and that then at once send the whole e email. So then what I do is I have a variable that where I accumulate some data and then dot equal attaches this string to the already existing content of $z. So if $z had the hello world that we put it in here earlier, then this expression will attach uh, an exclamation mark and an additional space here. So when I'm printing it out, we will see hello, space, world, exclamation, white, space. Now, a, a simple thing here that's not related really to the syntax of Perl, that you can see here I have double quotes, and then around the dollar $z I put single quotes. The single quotes here don't have any meaning for Perl, but when we print it out, we have now single quotes around the string. So without the single quotes, we would say, see hello, space, world, exclamation mark. We wouldn't notice that there is an extra space here. So I really like, especially when I'm doing debugging printouts, I really like to put some kind of a uh, sign around the values. Let's say a single quote is usually a good thing, mm, but other, other signs can work as well. That it will help me see if there is a space, so it will stand out if there is some kind of a space or a tab at the end or the beginning of the actual value. So that's one of the operators. And the other operator is the lowercase x character. It's not star, it's not standing thing special, it's the lowercase x letter. And it's the repetition operator. So on the left hand side it has a string, $z for example, this is a hello world thing. And then on the right hand side it has a number. And it will generate, uh, it will repeat this string this many times. So, because we have three here, the dollar $q will have the original hello world three times. And that's what you see here printed. Hello world with a space, hello world then with a space, and hello world with a space.